All right, let's talk about the uh, optional part on the trivia game. So um, let's uh, look at here. So the current design, so the, the one in the lab, right, for the leading indicator with the three players, so we use Boolean tag to represent if a particular player if is leading. And also, we use the output energize instruction in the logic it's the best suitable solution. You will see what I mean by that because we're going to do two other alternative then you realize uh, which way is the best, right? So uh, it's a very good exercise as a comparison the, uh, exercise. You can try to use OTL, right? Instead of OT, we use OTL to do that. And then uh, on top of that, we can even try different uh, tag right double integer sometimes yeah, you may think okay once we learn the uh, numerical instruction I think uh, that's a more advanced level maybe uh, it, it's a uh, best suitable uh, for everything uh, so uh, that has uh, absolute ad advantage over boolean but that's not the case all right so that's why I want you to compare them so the first let's try the first one so we use the OTL OTU to replace the OTE all right, so uh, let me clear that. Uh, let's look at the fir first uh, existing. Uh, existing. All right, basically, uh, it has nothing to do with the uh, trivia game logic anymore. It's just a comparison of the three, uh, three numbers, three uh, integers, right? So you can see right now. Uh, I'm calling. Uh, I'm using this one. So this is what I mean. The existing uh, design, right? So we use the uh, boolean tag to represent the leading, right? So you can see this is a boolean. Then we use OTE as logic, right? So those are the three identical logic. So whenever player one score is greater than player two, and and in the same time greater than. Uh, player three. So then we know player one has the higher score. Then uh, that's why uh, the player one should be the leader, right? So that is uh, the uh, the logic. The same thing for the other two players. And uh, if we can try it, we don't even need to go through the uh, uh, the the game logic anymore, right? So we can just uh, uh, change the scores, right? So we have the three players on here so for example if we change player two as 10 points right then you can see on the logic you can see here the leading the first place is reserved for the uh, double integer right so they can set 10 point has the highest one so if we uh, change player two score uh, to maybe to uh, so if for example it's ten point, right? So then this that should be a tie, no leader, right? Then yeah, then you can see that's the result, right? Because uh, player one's uh, score is not greater than player two anymore, right? So based on the logic we had uh, here, so this one will become false. That's why it loses the uh, uh, the energize on here. So yeah, I, I can try uh, from the uh, instruction now. Right? So if uh, player three got the score of twenty, right? So you can see here, right? It's greater than player three got the lead leading, right? So the uh, twenty five, then player one should be leader, right? So that's uh, pretty straightforward. All right, so then let's try a different way. All right, so I have to switch different routine. All right, so you can see here, I'm, uh, I want to use OTL. So that's why I change this one. It's, it's nothing to do with this demo. It's just for me to control the file. All right, so now this is the design for the OTL. Remember, we talk about OTL, OTU. They always come into pair, right? So you, you at a certain point, you uh, latch it, and at a certain point, you have to unlatch it. So you can see it's the same thing, exactly the same thing. We we are doing the with the OTE. The only difference is that we change OTE to OTL. But remember, we have to OTU, right? Where's the OTU? Uh, what's the OTU uh, condition for player one's leading? You can see here on row number three, right? So 
when player one score is less or equal, the LEQ is less or equal. Right? If that's the case, and then the, uh, 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 the we will do the enlarge, right? So uh, right now player one is leading because 25, right? And uh, if we change player two to 25, this will become true. Then the enlarge will be executed. So then you can see that's off now, right? So that's the same thing for the other two enlarge, right? So same thing you can see here with the o, uh, Mm, old, uh, OTE, we only need uh, three rounds, but once we have the OTL, OTU, we have six rounds, right? That makes sense when they come into pair, right? So this is the the, the first attempt, the alternative, right? So you can see uh, the, this statement is true. Boolean tag OTE is the best solution. Then let's even look at the uh, double integer, right? Like I said, uh, maybe people think, okay, first place, uh, will be uh, uh, double integer, so we have to create a new tag, right? As a double integer. So then, uh, if we want use double integer to represent if uh, who is the highest, who has the highest score, the logic again, right? So if you remember the, uh, I don't know if I still have it. All right. So uh, the let me quickly back to here. Remember, I mentioned that the uh, the integer instruction is more closer to OTL OTU because the value is retentive. Uh, the only difference is that OTL OTU will keep the value even lose the power after lose the power power back on uh, power cycle, right? But with the double integer, once you lose power, you reset the value to zero. That's the only difference. But the retentive the, the character is the same because once you move the value to the destination it will stay there unless you uh, unless you uh, change to different value again so that's why the, uh, the, the, the second alternative double integer uh, we have to you can see here I gave you a tip right copy the leading OTL once you have the OTL figure out right? I, I ask you copy this into the double integer and then modify that because it's very very similar so you can uh, 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 get the, the design finished very quickly right? so that's the second time I mentioned this if you remember at the beginning when we add the score with double integer on the trivia game I ask you also copy from the OTL solution with the bit logic version one, right? So then let's look at the, the result on the first place, right? So you can see the, uh, I, I need to go back here again. Uh, so now I need to run this different routine. So I change to three. So now I'm running the double integer. So you can see in this, in this situation, we have the, uh, first place as a double integer we move one into the uh, tag to indicate it's the highest he has a the, the player has a high score if the value is zero that means the uh, nobody has the highest score on here right so basically same thing because uh, player one player two basically uh, are, are tied all right so if we change player one's uh, score to five point right then you can see here right the first place on the player two is light up right so because over here we move one into the uh, 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 the, the first place double integer tag all right so uh, same thing again so even like uh, right now if um, so if I delete this let me try this Control X, all right. Control X. That's a delete. So I delete the clear player one, uh, player one uh, score. So right now you can see. Oh no, I, I should uh, delete player two. Right now it has high score, right? So let me delete this one as well. Control X. All right. 
So let me delete player two. So player two only has the move two, uh, move one in here. That's over here, right? Player two, 25 higher than five, 25 higher than 20, right? So it has move one into there, right? So if for uh, some reason we, we have, uh, we turn to player two score into 15, all right, so 15 is greater than 5, but less than 20, right? That's a false. And then uh, that's what I mean, because the double integer is returnative. So this value stays there, unless you have logic somewhere else to rewrite that, the value, right? Uh, because I also delete that, right? So if I move back, Control V, if I can get that back, OK, oh here I have player two uh, clear, right? So this is the one I just deleted, right? So uh, right now on there, it yeah, so p uh, player three has the high score. Yes, uh, that's why you can see here that's weird on the HMI. You can see two indicator lines, right? So the uh, player three is the high score. That's right, this one is right. Right, you can see from the score, but uh, player two, no logic to clear that because it's retentative. So the one I just paste back, you can see here, right? So this will guarantee length, right? 15 less than 20 will guarantee clear that to zero. Right now it's one, right? So once this one executed, that will move zero in there. Let me finalize, then that one should be gone. Yeah, you can see 15 is gone, right? So now we have 20 as the leader, right? That's the correct.